Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashtubs and welcome to my channel. Today we have yet again Jesse from Codestacker. I highly urge you guys to go and check him out. He is really good in what he does regarding code and now getting into Web3. You'll learn a tremendous amount. In today's subject, we are going to be taking on the topic, what do NFTs look like in the future? So let's jump right into it. Jesse, what do you think? Uh, where, where do you think NFTs go? And at this pace and current stage, where do you see them in a few years from now? Well, I mean, I think that right now NFTs um, are kind of a big question mark because right now it's really purely in the artistic space. So you've got, you know, artworks, you've got, um, uh, you know, moving images like GIFs and even MP4s. And you've also got um, uh, 3D um, artworks and you've got music. And so it's really in the artworks space right now. Um, but there are so many other use cases, and I don't think I think a lot of people have no idea that there are so many other use cases for NFTs. And so that's where I see them in the future is is moving off into these other industries as well. Of course, you know, sticking with arts as well, but you know, moving as you know into other industries uh, because there are there's so many things that NFTs can be used for. Absolutely, I think. Um, you hit the nail on the head, right? A lot of people say this is artworks, this is what it is. Um, I guess this is what it's famous for. If you just extend your mind and think about the other utilities, such as the medical industries, right? Um, imagine you can have an NFT that has your medical record on it and it can be protected in some way. It is public, so there'll need to be a, a discretion kind of thing to it. But the purpose is for you to not sit in full in forms when you have an emergency, right? You have your NFT, maybe um, some way, somehow it can be, um, you know, used. Or events, there can be an event, a ticket is linked to it, that's already happening. Um, cars, houses, um, documentation will become um, less and less because the smart contracts are contracts and they work. They can't be cheated if they're coded correctly. And um, if we can trust the system, I think NFTs can go pretty far. You know, I think the question is more because we know what's possible, right? It's all these industries. But when do you think, what timeline do you think we'll see NFTs uh, replacing our house deeds, for instance? Um, I, I would hope to see that within the next, you know, five, probably 10 years. Um, I think that, you know, the, the entire blockchain uh, industry is is very much in its infancy still. So there's a lot of things that have to get figured out. Like you said, if we use it in the medical industry, how do we protect certain uh, information, right? So maybe there's some sort of encryption that still has to be used to protect, you know, certain information. But um, I, I think that, you know, it, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time to get there. And, and so to get there quicker, the more of us that can get on board to help is going to is going to help us get there, um, and and it's it's all about education. Like I said, I think that there are so many people that have no idea that this can even be accomplished in this way, uh, because think about um, even identity theft. Identity theft happens all of the time. But what if you have an NFT that is your identity? It can't be stolen. It can't be forged. Um, and, and so you know there there are so many use cases, and so it's just a matter of educating people and and you know, understanding in these different industries from the top down that we can, uh, you know, transform these industries and make them even more secure by using NFTs in certain areas. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it brings the question, like, would it become dangerous then? Because if your entire identity is associated with an NFT, um, I think the world will be so much easier. Um, imagine not having a passport or doing your visa kind of application through an NFT, that would be freaking cool. Um, but also dangerous because uh, wallets do get hacked. And, um, you know, it, it, it's purely not because the system is not good. It's mostly phishing attacks and um, people doing old school hacks to kind of uh, social engineer whatever they want there. Um, but I think the future is bright with NFTs regardless, right? Um, we will just have a system that's better trusted by a decentralized nature uh, where everything is stored. And I think that's beautiful. And I think 
for us to progress in the space. Education, absolutely. What we are doing right here now, talking about it, is kind of educating people about the possibilities. This might open a viewer's mind right now and saying, well, I have an idea. And there we go. Maybe we have inspired the next revolution. Maybe time travel just got invented. Well, that would be weird because then we already know this happens. <laughs> anyway, I can't go that far, I guess. Yeah, that's, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine, um, you know, if, if I'm on vacation in uh, South Africa and, and something happens and I have to go to an emergency room um, and and they have no idea of my medical history and, and, and what if I just, you know, like, showed them my phone and boom, they, they know everything about me and they can, they can more easily help me. Like th there are so many benefits. That's just one industry there, but there are so many other things that it can be used for. So. Yeah, it can be used for. So um, imagine like you can put like, so we just in the infancy of how NFTs um, work and operate, right? But different standards will come out with different mechanisms. So I'm even envisioning kind of like, an NFT could be a full-on program in itself that gives uh, authentication to itself to run in a certain system. So by having this NFT and by someone else having an NFT, this could become a key that unlocks something else and then it can run something. Um, you can buy real assets and maybe trade them in. You know, in a decentralized world with NFTs and the blockchain, you can technically start a whole techno city and a whole blockchain so just running and operating on nfts because it's a trusted system you don't need um to trust mm -hmm. in anyone else but the contract you know and people are not reliable mm -hmm. but code is and um i think w because you're seeing banks and bigger entities entering the space they surely don't want to miss out but it is proof that the world is accepting um you know mm -hmm. crypto very much so NFTs are a part of crypto, even though it's a smaller part, but it's not going anywhere. And I think, w what innovation would you like to see in the future? I mean, what's the what would be the prize innovation for you to experience um, with NFTs? Like, let's go, let's go crazy. Let's think about anything. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't know. This isn't crazy, but I just think about all of the paper that I have to, you know, fill out, and, and so like. For instance, you have uh, paper deeds, you have paper titles, you have, um, let's say you're going to rent, uh, you're going to rent an apartment, right? You've got to you fill out a, a lease agreement or whatever the case might be. You have to do all of that. And so like, imagine going online, renting an apartment with an NFT. You now own that, that rent on that, on that apartment. Um, and maybe it can be transferred or whatever it might be. Um, plane tickets, um, event tickets, like all of these things can all be NFTs. So I don't know, that's, that's like my initial, that's not like shoot, you know, going to the moon, like you said, <laughs> but um, that's like the initial stages, I think. But then like crazy, like something crazy. I don't know. I don't even know if I've thought that far. Do you have something in mind? Um, at the end of the day, I, I sure hope to see the first Mars tickets be an NFT. Um, having, you know, new technologies coming out, adopting NFTs, you know, for instance, TVs coming out, maybe as an NFT itself. So you can transfer the ownership or um, digital product mm -hmm. just having NFTs innately in them. Maybe for me, the biggest technology mm -hmm. or technological breakthrough would be uh, an iPhone. Maybe this has not been said in the whole world. Maybe this is the first time we say this, but I think, mm -hmm. and this is now, maybe I can claim this. <laughs> I think phones and devices yeah. taking images should be configured in such a way on a blockchain that every image being taken becomes an NFT, uh, becomes an ownable mm -hmm. thing owned by you on the blockchain, maybe. Maybe not those naughty pictures, but Ooh. at least at least something you want to capture as an NFT. Maybe that's already that's already there, I guess. But you know, it for me, if that's a good if it if it integrates, if it integrates with our daily lives, you know, like you said, your rental agreement, the that car thing, um, anything really like it, it can be, it can be whatever we imagine it can be when it comes to ownable assets, um, your bank accounts, everything can just go away, you know, and everything can just be run by, by smart contracts. And I think that is, that is great.
you know, and it, and it creates trust. And I think that's, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. NFTs are cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think you hit on two good points. I think, um, the, you know, the fact that the, the, the blockchains are not very eco-friendly right now. Uh, again, it, blockchains are in their infancy stages. We're still figuring things out. We're still figuring out NFTs and, and where they fit in and all of that. So as we figure all of that out, we're going to figure out the, the environmental aspect of it as well. So of course, things all need to continuously improve for us to get to where we want to go, right? And then the other thing I, was you talked about the pho photographs, like what if there was an app on your iPhone that was a, an NFT app, uh, NFT camera, you know, and every picture that you take with that automatically becomes an NFT. And so then that brings me into the space of photographers, um, especially like journalist type photographers. They're always selling their images to, you know, news agencies or whatever. Like what if they use this app and then they sell it as an NFT to the news agency? So, now we're getting i think you got something now there. we're getting to brainstorming <laughs> sesh there's not even now a discussion now this now viewers need to sign ndas <laughs> but i think yes. if you think about a company like canon or, or like any camera you know sony um uh, you know these canon um what do you call these these hard bodies they, they have enough um or or slr cameras mm -hmm. right they have enough um tech in them today if they are connected via Wi-Fi to turn that image truly into an NFT. Mm -hmm. And that might have use cases um, for things like paparazzi shots, for instance, right? I know that's not good, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying um, yeah. maybe that's something that needs to be shown that someone owns it, you know, or taking a photo of something very rare, maybe archaeological shots that shouldn't be forged or anything like this, can be taken and placed on an NFT exactly at that moment, meaning that, again, it, it ups the level of trust because that photo can only exist there if it was taken live. It cannot be photo manipulated, which is pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. I think it shows that there's, mm -hmm. there's no forgery. It's like taken and placed on the blockchain immediately. That's the second it got took. So maybe someday that will come out. And if it does, maybe give JC and I a cut in the shares there. Um, but anyway, oh, nice. this is fun though. I, I like I like experimenting with these ideas. Um, but yeah, it can go anywhere. And I think, I don't think I know that um, in a few years from now, we're going to have NFTs everywhere. And I, I said this in a stage before, you know, to artists out there, if you have the, the skills and the resources to launch an NFT collection right now, do it because you are very, very early and it will go down in history mm -hmm. as something that was on the blockchain in this period of time. And um, that's something that no one can take away from you. So exciting mm -hmm. stuff, man. Yes, yes. The future of NFTs is, is very bright. Again, as, as many of us as possible need to help out uh, because, you know, we're still still figuring things out. Um, but we will get there. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think I think uh, it's going to be an amazing thing to watch unfold. So uh, wow. thanks. Thanks again, Daniel, for having me on, man. It was a huge pleasure. I think we're going to do this more often, JC. It was really, really fun. Um, I hope the viewers enjoyed it. And if you did, you know, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, JC's channel. I'll leave it in the description. And until next time, we'll see you again.